Coat Stampers. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little note card box with our punch, our envelope punch board and um, the little note cards that go inside it. Okay, let me just show you the note card first because these are pretty plain and simple. I started with um, a piece of paper that was three by six, okay, three by six, and then the silver paper is two and a half, the black paper is two and a quarter, and the white paper is two by two. I stamped the image with our stamp set that is called Christmas Collectibles, and I made four of each one of these, okay? So um, on this, I used this one, this one, this one, and this one. So all of those cards, and I'll show you in a minute, are in this box. Um, and then the outside I did with um, this little stamp right here, okay? So there's um, five images in here. I used four on the cards, one on the box, so I used every single stamp that's in here. It also has a coordinating punch that goes along with it, and you can buy this in a bundle. And um, it just makes life so much easier. You stamp, you punch, and you, and you glue. That's about it. Um, the silver paper is our silver paper that we sell in our mini catalog, our holiday mini catalog, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. We sell it in silver and we sell it in gold. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the ribbon right here is just from our silver ribbon that is also from that same catalog. And um, it's just very easy to tie. It, it um, makes beautiful bows. Very, very easy to work with, which is nice. Okay, so that is our card. I also made an envelope, and these are three by three cards. Um, when you when you fold them, they're three by three cards. So um, I'm going to show you on the punch board how to make the um, three by three envelopes to match it, and then you just go down one size. So whatever size you pick for your envelope, you go down one size, and you will make um, the envelope liner the exact same way. You just cut off the sides. I always cut mine in half, and that way there I get two envelope liners um, per per envelope that I'm making. So that's our, our card. Very simple, very basic, very easy, but it's adorable because it's inside this little box that's made from the um, punch, uh, envelope punch board. So let me just show you, and I'll open it up, and here are the rest of our cards. So here's the one I just showed you, and here are the other, the other cards. Okay, so um, what a great little gift to give. Let me just show you how I made the box. Okay, um, the outside of it is done exactly the same, except the dimensions of this are a little bit different. Um, I made them a little bit bigger than the cards, as you can see, um, and that's so that it would fit better on the box. So the top layers, um, we have our box, and then the silver layer is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. The black part is two and a half by two and a half, and the white is two by two. I stamped and punched out my image, I added a little bow, and then I added some ribbon to keep the box closed, okay? So let me just show you what we're going to do. This is our new envelope template or our envelope punch board, and um, I showed you the Stampin' Up video. It's a it's a great video. Um, I just showed showed you how to use that. We do have the scoring tool with it. You also have um, a, a punch right here, and you have a punch right here. This punch is for the rounding of it. This punch is for the indenting of it. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. You do have directions here, and you have all of your sizes. The thing you need to know first and foremost about using the punch board is that when you're looking for your envelope size, you don't think of your envelope size, you think of your card size, okay? So today we're going to make um, an, a box that is going to fit three by three cards, okay? So you need to make the, the actual envelope a little bit bigger. So for this piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a four by four box, okay? So I'm, I'm looking at all of my measurements. And here's my four by four box. It's telling me to cut my first piece of paper at six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. Okay? And then we're going to score. My first score is going to be at three and a half. So we're going to go over to, um, we, I have my six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths inch piece of cardstock. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my, um, let's see, it's a four by four. So I'm going to go over to three and a half. So I'm going to look up here onto three and a half, which is right here. And I'm going to take and I'm going to punch. Okay, and then if you're nervous about trying to find the groove, if you start your groove down here where, where you can actually see it and work your way up, it's also just as easy. Okay, so we're going to take and we're going to make our first score mark. Then you do not use this piece at all. Okay, not for the first part of this envelope. What you're going to do is this little pointer right here is going to point right into the groove of your um Oh, in the groove of your, your um, embossed piece. So now we're going to take and we're going to punch and we're going to score and then we're going to take and we're going to punch and 
four and and if you don't if you forget to punch you can always go back and punch um, but it's just you know it's whatever you feel okay so now we have all four of our sides now this would be for just a regular envelope a four by four envelope okay but we're gonna make this into a box so we want to make it into a three a, a box that'll fit three by three cards so I went over to my three by three and um, I'm going to skip the paper size because I've already got my paper, but it says to score at two, oops, at two and five eighths. So for this one, it's going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to score at two and five eighths all the way around, okay? We're going to do it the exact same way, but we're going to score at two and five eighths. So I do need my scoring tool um, for the whole next part because we want to make this centerpiece um, a little bit bigger than three by three. So we're going to go over to two and five eighths, which is right here. Okay, we're going to go over to two and five eighths, we're going to punch, and then we're going to take and we're going to score. Now, do you see how I'm making this square on the inside a little bit smaller? We're going to take and we're going to turn it. We're going to go over to two and five eighths again. Okay, two and five eighths. We're going to take and we're going to punch, and we're going to score. Okay, turn, two and five eighths, punch, and score, and one more. We're going to go over two and five eighths, okay? Remember on the, the regular envelope, if we're making a regu regular envelope, you don't use this after the first one. You're going to use this little, um, this little pointer right here. But for this one, we're going to take and we're going to use our two and five eighths one. And as you can see, this square right here in the middle got much smaller. So if I take my ruler and I measure it, okay, it's just a little bit bigger. It's three and one eighth. By three and one eighth, and we need that so that we can take and we can fit our cards in there. If I did a three by three, if this square in here was only three by three, um, you wouldn't be able to fit three by three envelopes in there. Okay, does that make sense? All right, now we're done with our little um, scoreboard here or our little um, punch board. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put this together. There's a couple of things that you need to do. You need to get your paper snips out, and you need to cut out this piece right here. And these little punches are great guides for that, okay? So we're going to take this, and we're going to cut out this piece all the way around, okay? You're going to just cut this all the way around. And when you're done, you have a piece that looks like this. You're going to take either your bone folder or this piece that comes with your um, in, with your uh, punch board, okay? And you're just going to take and, and uh, put these little creases in here very, very crisply. You want your box to be nice and, and square, okay? So when you do this, it just makes your whole box look much, much more professional, okay? And this is a professional piece. All right, so now we have our box that looks like this. You're going to take a little bit of adhesive and put it there, a little bit of adhesive and put it there, okay? And that makes your box. Now, there's one more thing that we want to do, and that is to round our upper corner. And I forgot to do that on my original one, so I'm going to do that to my original one, okay? So we're going to take that. We're going to take our punch board. Remember, this is, this is like getting a bonus. You get two extra punches with this punch board, all right? And you're just going to take and you're going to... Slide that in there like that and punch. And what it does is it rounds your corner beautifully, okay? And you can use that punch, both of those punches, on any project that you have. You've just got a bonus. You've got two extra punches. And then what happens is, is that your cards and your envelopes fit in here absolutely nicely, beautifully, gorgeously. I just love it. You see? Absolutely gorgeous. And then just fold it, tie your ribbon, and you've got the greatest little gift ever. Okay? I hope you enjoyed my post. If you have any questions, hop on over to my blog, um, email me. Just let me know what you're thinking, and I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for a lot more of my wow, over-the-top, beautiful Christmas cards. They're coming up. They're coming fast and furious. This is just another little gift that you can give or use. Okay? Have a great day. <music>